In the upper 20s, it is cold out there this morning, but we're going to warm it up big time by later on this afternoon. So good news there. Now, along with that warm up comes quite a bit of rain, so watch out for that. But we've got this ridge of high pressure. This was overhead yesterday. It's now anchored off the mid-Atlantic states. And on the back edge of that high, you've got a nice southeasterly wind this morning. It'll become more southerly later on today. And uh, things do warm up quite a bit. Problem is, we've got a couple of areas of low pressure that are firing, tracking east. And it's going to be a complex weekend for sure with heavy snow already flying across the Great Lakes and rain eventually spreading in is that southern low takes hold. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of everything across uh, much of the uh, eastern half of the U.S. For us, though, we're talking rain. 50s today, tomorrow, 40s by Sunday, and then bottoming out in the low 40s Monday. And we start to wind up and do it all over again. A mild stretch, but unfortunately a wetter stretch as you get closer to midweek and, of course, Valentine's Day. Now, as far as that snow is concerned, warnings and advisories still out across much of the uh, Plain states and then running into the Great Lakes. That's a winter storm warning. Uh, through from basically southwest of Detroit all the way through Chicago. And this is a live look at St. Philip uh, Lutheran School up in Chicago. It's kind of hard to see because it's still dark, but it, you can see the snow coming down, and it has been coming down overnight. It's really been cranking up. And here you can see these bands of snow across northern Illinois, going across Lake Michigan and over into Michigan proper, and then all the way out towards Cleveland. So snow's on the move. The rain for us, it'll be a little more of a delayed onset. So they're going to get hammered as anywhere from a half foot to well over a foot of snow, possibly into the weekend. Uh, this takes you through Saturday afternoon. We will see the rain starting here tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, and then continuing through Saturday afternoon into Saturday night, and then probably not winding down until Sunday afternoon, which means since it's an extended stretch, we have a slow moving front dropping in. We've got a good chance for rounds of rain, and some of that could be moderate to heavy, especially across southeastern Kentucky. That's Saturday morning into Saturday evening. The rain's still here. It's going to be a soggy Saturday. The best chance for the most scattered and, and the, the lighter coverage is going to be up north. But pops of moderate to even at times heavy rain. There you can see it really cranking up into Saturday night, Sunday morning. So by the time it's all said and done, we could be looking at close to a half inch north, around an inch here, and possibly a two to three inch rainfall total across southeastern counties. And that would be the most obvious place to have potential flooding. So we do have a flood watch up. It goes all the way through Sunday afternoon. We're in the upper 50s today. Could see some low 60s south. A beautiful, unusually warm day for this time of the year. Take advantage of it. It's not going to cool off all that much. We're in the low 40s tonight, cl almost close to our average high. And then we're back into the low 50s tomorrow. But yeah, Saturday, rain likely. And then more rain Sunday with uh, highs bottoming out in the upper 40s, around 50. Next week, more rain on the way with the potential for temperatures warm as well into the 50s. So... Not a lot for winter weather lovers to get jazzed about in this forecast, but could have a whole lot of rain on and off through that eight-day forecast. <laughs>